Today, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the myth, the legend, the dream. How to make money while sailing full time. This is what we all hope for. This is what holds so many of us back. The most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? Sailing is expensive any way you slice it. Most of us need a way to continue to generate income while sailing so we can go to all those places we always dreamed of. You are in luck. In this series, I'm going to break down in depth all the ways I have made money while sailing that allowed me to continue sailing full time. I will lay them all out step by step so you can see real world examples of how I've done this for years. At the end of this series, I guarantee you will have a way that will generate enough income for you to continue to sail full time and chase those memories. Now make sure to stay all the way till the end and I'll show you exactly how I put this into play. Now option one, the six pack captain's license. I'm sure you've heard of this one before. However, people often confuse the reasoning behind this and how to make money from having one. Most people often start thinking of a seven day paid sailing trip or fishing charters, being paid as a delivery captain or something along those lines. Now those all can be great ways to make extra money. However, we are sailors. We sail full time. We don't want to give up the use of our vessel for seven days. We don't want to dock our vessel somewhere for a month while we go do an Atlantic crossing for someone else. Who's going to keep our vessel company? We can't leave her all alone. So let me break down how to get a captain's six pack license first and then what to actually do with it that won't keep you from your vessel for weeks at a time or give up the use of your vessel to someone else on a paid charter where you are the captain. We want to be on our boat and be our own boss, right? We don't want to work for someone else. That's no fun. We didn't dream of sailing full time to work for somebody else. Obtaining your six pack captain's license is actually pretty straightforward and simple. However, it is very time consuming. So the sooner you start, the better. So what is a captain's six pack license? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It allows you to take up to six people on your vessel and charge them. What are the basic requirements? Well, you need sea time and lots of it. Actually 365 days of sea time. Now how in the world do you get a year of sea time? Well, you can actually start getting your sea time at the age of 16. You can get your sea days simply by working on a vessel, even at the dock. Anytime you're on a vessel, you can count it towards your sea time. Currently, you need 90 days of sea time in the last year. Number two, you need a TWIC card. This is basically a transportation card. It's a mugshot. It's a transportation worker identification card. It includes a background check as well. You also need your CPR certification. This is basic and you can get this anywhere. When you're the captain of a vessel, you are not only the captain, you're also a firefighter, the doctor, the engineer, basically everything falls back on you. You are the one responsible for all the souls on your vessel. So a CPR certification is something you should have anyway. You also need a medical card and to pass a physical and a drug test. Yes, this includes marijuana that is legal in several states. If you test positive for marijuana, you will fail and you will not get your captain's license. Now at the end of all of this, you also need to pass a written exam. And then once you complete your written exam, you send a bunch of paperwork to the government and wait for what seems like an eternity. And then boom, eventually, you have your six pack captain's license. You'll need several books and charts to complete this and it is also very overwhelming at first. But you only need a 70% to pass except for the rules of the road section where you do need a 90%. Most YouTube sailors don't have a clue about rules of the road so you will be far far ahead of the game. I have my captain's six pack license and if I were you I would simply complete your sea time first. You should be logging your sea time every time you're on the water. You do need to also renew your license every five years so logging your sea time before and after you already have a six pack license is something you should be doing anyway. Then once you've completed your sea time I would recommend taking your course. There are several schools all over the United States that provide an in-depth course on getting your six pack. You can do them both online and in person. And I have a huge selection of websites dedicated to obtaining your six pack captain's license on my website, chasinglatitudes.com. Head on over there and check it out. Now, once you have your schooling done, pass your test, as well as obviously your sea time, you can complete the remaining steps any way that best fits your schedule. The school that you choose will also help you through this entire process. Phew, yeah, it seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. Once you have your boat, the sea time's gonna happen anyway, so might as well log it. 
bang out the captain's course, take some tests, learn how to save some lives, and boom, we're all done. It's not hard to get, and I recommend everyone get one if you plan to sail full-time, especially if you need to make money while sailing. Now, on to the good part. How in the world do we actually put this into play? So this is where things start to get fun. Some of the best ways to make easy cash are as follows. Now remember, with the Captain Six Pack License, you can charge up to six people to come on your vessel. So one of the best ways is to do sandbar tours. Now if you're in the Caribbean or anywhere tropical, sandbars are a big thing. Everyone goes to them or wants to go to them. And since we can now charge people to come on our vessel, we just need to be in the right location. Something to consider is to adjust your cruising destinations around tourist season. A simple website set up through about anywhere can make you look official. Some business cards that are super easy to print and just being in the right location at the right time. With a sandbar tour, it's very, very simple. You simply pick them up at the dock, take them out to the sandbar, anchor out, let them play out there in the water for as long as you want, half a day, full day couple of hours, whatever best suits your schedule, and boom, charge $50 to $70 a person, and bingo, six times 70, do some math, we are doing pretty good here. Next up, sunset tours, the same as sandbar tours. All you should do is simply hit up a Costco, stock up on Prosecco, that's a cheap champagne, get some reusable plastic cups, and boom, look who is now offering romantic sailing sunset tours. These currently go for around $80 a person here in the Lesser Antilles, where I currently am, and they are booked every single night, every season. Everyone wants to see that sunset over the tropical waters. Some basic math, you got six people on your boat, 80 bucks a person, that's $480 a trip. Three trips a week, and that's $1,200 a week in your pocket, all for doing the exact same thing you would normally do. Your website, do some sunset tours and sandbar tours. Now these next two, you can charge basically anything you want to. Island hopping. This is another fantastic one to offer. If you're somewhere like the BVI, USVI, or Puerto Rico, as well as several other destinations, people often need transportation to and from various islands. You do want to keep them all in the same waters, however, as you don't want to be responsible for checking someone else into the BBI from the USVI or something like that. You want to avoid customs and immigration. So if you're in the BBI, just island hop within the BBIs. If you're in the USVI, same thing. Or if you're in Puerto Rico, you can take people around the Spanish Virgin Islands, which are a fantastic location. You can easily charge $150 a person for this. So again, some Einstein math, six times 150, and boom, 900 bucks a trip. Easy money, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is become a shuttle. In Puerto Rico, the USVI, and the BVI, as well as several other locations throughout the Lesser Antilles, there are ferries that do enter island hopping. Some run only once a day and others several times a day. Well, guess what? People miss the ferry every day, every year, no matter what. Guess who should be right there by the ferry terminal offering to take someone to their destination? That's right, you should. As long as you have your website, your captain's license, your business card, you are officially a paid for hire captain. So go where the money is. Now here is the biggest insider tip you will ever receive on how to really make this work. Business cards. Go to all of the local bars in the tourist areas of any island you are on. Sit down, grab a beverage, start talking to the bartenders. What you wanna do here is on the back of your business card, you have the bartender write their name. Now you offer them a kickback for every single person they send your way. Every week, you go back to the bartender with the cards that have their name on them, you receive from the customers that they sent you, and you hand them some money. This is where you're going to get 99% of your customers. Go to as many bars as you can. Don't get wasted. You're here on business. Just get the job done. Make friends, hand out those cards to everyone, and watch those phone calls come in. Once you have your captain's license, this all can be accomplished for very little upfront money. 14 or 15 bucks a month for a website, some business cards, and you are all set. You can also offer the bartenders sunset cruises if they have a spouse. I can assure you, several of them will simply want to go on a sunset cruise with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Now you can also expand this in numerous ways. You can customize sunset sales for couples, anniversaries, wedding proposals, and so on. 
You can customize them to get people behind the wheel of your vessel and teach them the basics of sailing. This is a surefire goldmine on how to make money while cruising full time. I have done it for years and I always made far more money doing this than any 9 to 5 job I ever had. My entire life, I've made more money sailing than I ever did with my useless four-year degree. Go and get your six-pack license. It will be a money maker anywhere you go. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment below, head to the website, check out some more info on the license, and make sure to turn on that bell notification. In the next episode of this series, I'm going to share more ways to make money while sailing. Again, I assure you by the time I am done with this series, you will absolutely have a way to make money while full-time cruising. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.